I went to speak at a conference one time and I walked on stage and uh, I was out giving the talk and I looked out about halfway in the crowd and there's this young person with a paper bag over their head with the eyes cut out like that. It was the weirdest, most distracting thing. I tried to ignore it all night. I thought, oh, this is just a joke, sort of like the volleyballs, the beach balls that go up in the air. It'll end. I'll take it off. All night, three or four hours, this kid sat in the middle of the crowd with a paper bag on his head. At the end of the night, I was just kind of like, what the world? So I talked to someone. I said, find that kid with the paper bag on their head. So everybody was, you know, kind of, we were in the night, and they found him and brought him to me. We were, like, standing behind the curtain the stage, right? Still had the bag on his head, never took it off all night. I introduced myself. I said, hey, I'm Paul. What's your name? He reluctantly told me his name. He's like, I don't want to be here. I was like, I could have never guessed. I said this, I said, what are you afraid of? And he goes, how'd you know I was afraid? I said, the context clues, bro. You have a paper bag on your head. And he kind of just put his head down. He's like, he's like, what are you afraid of? And honestly, I, I, it's the only time in my life I've ever had a conversation with a person with a paper bag on their head. And I'm having this conversation. This kid has his, his head bowed. And uh, as I'm talking to him, I can see the teardrops from the bottom of the bag falling on the ground, onto his shoes. And the bag was getting wet and was kind of turning colors, you know? He's like, I'm so afraid that God doesn't, won't love me for everything I've done or God won't accept me for who I am. Or God won't forgive me for the people around me if they really knew. So I said, why don't you just open up the curtain and look out in the crowd? And I said, everyone... Every person out there is afraid of something. You're not the only one. And I said, the thing that we're most afraid of, usually, is surrender. We're afraid to trust our lives into someone else's hands, but ultimately, when it comes to our relationship with Christ, that's exactly what it is. It's like, Lord, here's my life. You know better how to live it than I do. And that's the freedom that Sean was talking about. That's where we find true freedom. So here's the question. Are you willing to give your life, to surrender your life to Jesus. To hand over your life, to hand your heart over. To make a commitment to Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I surrender my life to you.